and welcome back to Aging Well. I'm your host, Nathan Lamb. With me today is Ann Keith. Hello again. Hello again. So we're just wrapping things up for this episode. And I did want to mention that uh, Somerville Cambridge Elder Services actually hosted a conference on dementia a few months ago. And a lot of great information from that uh, conference was uh, written about in our most recent issue of The Advocate, which we put out three times a year. We try to include some really useful information for people, uh, you know, some learning materials, some features about things that are out there that's of interest. Um, the featured story in this issue of The Advocate was we had an all-star panel where we had an elder law attorney, somebody from a home care organization, and our own Dr. Rebecca Warner doing a panel mm. on um, common ethical dilemmas mm. of dementia. I thought it was a really good discussion. Um, and we were able to sort of encapsulate some of the main takeaways of the advice that they were able to give uh, for people there. We also got a bit about the different types of dementia in there that was provided by our featured speaker who was a, a doctor. Mm -hmm. And we also have something on music and memory. And mm -hmm. we also had something on memory cafes. So it was really a fairly, and we had a, we also had a speaker who uh, told us their, a caregiver who told us their story. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. it was really a really wow. fascinating, uh, conference and we tried to get a lot of this into the advocate the advocate is available around town for free um, if you go to our website under publications you can download it as a PDF and check it out um, and it's you can also get on our mailing list by contacting Somerville Cambridge Elder Services let them know that you want to get on the mailing list for the advocate uh, if you want to receive the next issue um, but that's about all the time that we have for this month, was there anything else you wanted to add? I just wanted to talk about um, just a few things that people can do to just promote like heart healthy, brain healthy. Um, things like, you know, remaining socially active, um, um, learning new, you know, learning new things, um, getting interested in hobbies, um, keeping your brain stimulated, um, exercise is like one of the most important things um, that can really um, promote, um, you know, um, good brain health. Yeah. Absolutely. So, it's important. Yeah. And if people are facing questions uh, with Alzheimer's or dementia and they want to see what resources are out there, um, Aging Information Center, if you call, you might get to talk to Anne mm -hmm. and she'll be there with all the answers. You guys are amazing. I've done some speaking at different events where we talk about the agency and at the end of it, mm -hmm. everyone always lines up with all of their questions and you guys are great. I don't think I've seen very many times where it was like, there was like a couple times where it's like, okay, maybe I'll get back to you on that when we get a little more and I have a computer yeah. in front of me. You guys really are experts and the amount of stuff mm -hmm. that's out there that people can access. If it's out there, Right. You guys know, and it's a free service. Right. You guys take the time. You really try to get to the bottom of how you can help. Right. So definitely if there's people out there who are seeking resources or need support or want to try to find some of these programs, I highly recommend they give. Right. You might not get Ann Keefe, but you're going to get somebody great on the line. <laughs> Absolutely. So I, I love the Aging Information Center. So I did have to include that. Thank you for Absolutely. that plug. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think that's about all the time yeah. we have this month on Aging Well. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, in the meantime, if you want more information and updates about Somerville Cambridge Elder Services, visit our website, eldercare.org, or also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.